famously known as Rain City, now perfected your visit to Bogor by enjoying food culinary at Surya Kencana. It has been decades, but this street always able to attract more and more food lovers by their delicious and legendary food options. And this one is a good example. Ngohya. Saya Firman, pemilik dari Ngoyang yang di jalan yang terletak di Jalan Surya Kencana, 154 Bogor. Ngoyang ini uh, yang bukain dulu orang orang tua saya, jadi saya seolah-olah jadi generasi kedua. Itu orang tua jagang dia keliling panjang jalan Surya Kencana, pasar Bogor, Teketeng gitu ya. Dulu zaman kurang lebih adalah antara 45 tahun yang lalu dulu. Nah, dulu di situ bergabung dengan makanan-makanan yang lain. Nah, setelah itu dibongkar, saya pindah ke sini, ke Jalan Surya Kencana 154. Di sini kurang lebih saya adalah hmm, 30 tahun loh. Ngohyang is actually a Chinese food. Or for some, it is claimed coming from the Philippines. The ingredients used in preparing Ngohyang are jikama, lumpia, onion, garlic, seasonings, and a powder made from five special spices such as cinnamon, star anise, fennel seeds, Sichuan pepper, and cloves, as the name Ngohyang means five aromas. Ngohyang itu ada artinya. Jadi ngohyang artinya jadi lima wangi-wangian. Ngohyang itu kan, kan lima. Jadi li, ya semacam yangnya itu antara disebut ramuan, ya sih jadi wangi-wangian lah istilahnya. Chinese ya itu, nah, jadi non halal ya terus kan. Ada sih yang ayam tapi kan tetap digabung. Soalnya dulu juga saya pernah coba pakai yang daging sapi ya dia nggak nggak cocok jadi gimana ya lain gitu. Now let's see how they prepare it. First, deep fry the ngohyang. You can choose between pork and chicken meat. To see the differences of the meat, it can be simply noticed by the color. Pork looks more brown, while the chicken looks more pale. Once done, fry the white tofu and also the potato that has been boiled earlier. Now your ngoyang is halfway done. Serve it with pickles. But what makes it unique is that not only cucumber and carrots, but they also have a white radish. And that gives a better balanced taste for the pork meat. Last is the peanut sauce that tastes savory and dominantly sweet. You can request to be mixed in one plate with ngoyang or separated such as this one. And voila! Your ngoyang is ready to be delivered to your table. Menu di sini selain ngoyang ada makanan yang lain ya, yang pangsit pengantin, tomi babat, ada lomi yang kuahnya agak kental-kental itu pakai kangkung toge sama mie pangsit, mie bakso ya itu sih hanya seperti biasa lah yang nggak terlalu ini, tapi yang ininya kan ngoyang pak yang aneh-aneh gitu, aneh tapi enak pasti seperti itu antara 40.000-30.000. On the outside, it looks like siomai with peanut sauce and everything. But its inside reveals something more unique from the five spices they put in it. The texture is so fluffy, yet a little bit crunchy on the outside. Ngoyang is already delicious with or without the sauce. But of course, the peanut sauce brings all the taste out confirmingly amazing. Even the pickles makes it even more perfectly balanced. You can enjoy it as a breakfast, since this restaurant is already open in the morning. Or you can also enjoy it as a snack, even lunch, since the portion is quite big. Kalau buka sih tetap ya jam 9 pagi sampai jam jam 7 jam 8. Sekarang saya jam 6 ya tutup. 
ada sih pengaruhnya ya tapi kalau untuk kuliner sih ya puji Tuhan ya nggak terlalu parah begitu ya masih ada lah istilahnya untuk bayar-bayar karyawan sih gitu. terus yang kuliner dua orang tiap Sabtu dan Minggu ya. e, nyusut kurang lebih ada lah sekitar antara 40 persenan 50 persen 40 nah setelah ditambah lagi dengan ganjil genap ya otomatis meningkat ya bisa 50 ya nah, puji Tuhan sih masih bisa bertahan bisa ketulungan dari online juga gitu kan Ya kalau untuk kalian biasa saat-saat sekarang sih paling ya 30-40an lah Untuk para pecinta kuliner Kalau mau makan loyang di Bogor Jangan lupa ke Jalan Surya Kencana 154 Going deeper to Surya Kencana Street, you will experience more and more legendary food that has been survived for decades, even century. Just like this bread. Back in 1920, Mr. Tan Ek Chuan started his bakery in Buitenzorg, which is now known as the city of Bogor. To make it even more lucrative for the business, Tan Ek Chuan Bakery initiated the plan to sparehead the cells through bicycle car paddlers. Nowadays, we can even still see so many of them paddling the bread the traditional way. No need to question the quality of the bread, since a century of their focus and dedication has answered all that. Also the same with this drink, Bir Kocok Si Aba. That have started selling since 1965. You can find it at Gang Aut Surya Kencana Street. Unlike the name, this beer is definitely halal since it is only made from ginger, cinnamon, and palm sugar. In fact, it is very healthy yet refreshing. The taste is a little bit peppery from the ginger. Aromatic from the cinnamon. and sweet from the palm sugar. Add some ice cube in it. Of course, shake it or kocok for a little bit to create the foam and voila, your beer kocok is ready. Very suitable to accompany your long walk along the Surya Kencana Street. Surprisingly, the price is so very reasonable, which will only cost you 5,000 rupees per serving. Even better than a bottle sweet drink you can buy in a mini market. No wonder this traditional drink has been lasted for years. In the heart of Surya Kencana, nasi goreng pete guancho or guancho pete fried rice has been around for the past 50 years. Dishing up a fried rice concoction that will keep one coming back again and again. The key to its delicacy is simply the pate, the sweet soy sauce that has never been changed for the past 50 years, and of course, their secret garlicky concoction. Look at that big pan and many portion can be cooked at once. But however famous it is because of the pate, still there are customers who want to enjoy the fried rice without it. That's why now they cook the pate separately with the fried rice. But of course, it won't lessen the whole taste of nasi goreng pate guancho. Kalau di sini, kalau bikin beda, ebi sama kemiri aja ditumbuk gitu, biar kering gitu, diaduk gitu. Enggak, enggak pakai bawang-bawang bawang. Ini cuma ada bubur kacang hijau, nasi goreng, sama sate aja, cuma tiga macam. Satenya ada sumsum, ada ginjal, ada ati, sama daging, cuma empat macam. Balan sih beri, dari jam 12 lah kalau balannya, sampai jam 8. The taste is dominantly sweet, but of course you can add sambal to make it more spicy. Not only pate, they also put chicken meat in the fried rice. Make it more savory and delicious. Or you might want to add some cucumber pickles. 
definitely nothing bad about it. The texture of the rice are still dried in mouth, and the portion is quite generous with only 35,000 rupees per portion. Not only that, you can also enjoy the fried rice with many options of satay that is placed in the same location with nasi goreng guancho. It is satay pa o o. You can choose between beef meat, beef marrow, beef kidney, or beef liver. Very suitable to be enjoyed along with the fried rice. Ya, yeah, ini kalau lagi pandemi gini cuman kalau sehari sih 100 kan. 100 porsi. Mungkin gua bisa 150-an. From the fresh weather of Bogor to streets just bursting with delicious food stall, you will find an abundance of stops in Surya Kencana. And if food is your reason to visit this place, then Martabak and Czech should be on your priority list. Because it is just that good. Martabak has been one of Indonesia's popular street food. You can find it almost everywhere. The option is also varied. But how can one stand famous for such a very long time is definitely something that we want to taste. Martabak and Czech is located in Surya Kencana Street, number 289. Open around 2 p.m. and usually will be closed around 4 to 5 p.m. only. If you have never been here before, it's not easy to find a place. Since it is not placed in the main street, plus, they don't put many signs or advertisements around the stall. But they are very confident to keep selling the martabak that way since they already have many loyal customers. They cook the martabak by using charcoal. The size is not too big nor too thick. The sweet taste is just right and not too much, so you can eat more of it. Maybe that's the reason why this martabak becomes a legendary. They have the peanuts filling, cheese, chocolate, even the original one without any filling but butter. Very simple, unique yet undoubtedly delicious. How can one say no to this? With the very reasonable price, which is around 40 to 100 rupees, you can enjoy this legendary food right at the busy street of Surya Kencana. Hey, hello, saya Iir dari Depok, tujuan ke Bogor uh, nyari kuliner nih, martabak ngecek uh, terkenal. Dari tahun ke 73 ya, udah 48 tahun yang lalu. Ini aku udah pesen martabaknya, martabak campuran keju dan coklat. Tahu tempat ini tuh dari saudara sama temen sih. Makanya aku sempetin datang ke Bogor, mau cobain martabak encek ini. Gitu. Martabaknya itu tipis ya, manggangnya juga dia nggak pakai kompor gas gitu, pakai areng. Itu. Mungkin itu yang bikin enak juga sih, tapi ini memang luar biasa. Boleh dicoba. Ayo, mari makan. One more favorite from Surya Kencana is Pepe Sagu Pisang. You definitely can't find this snack except here, and we don't know the reason why. In fact, this one is very unique and delicious. This Pepe Sagu is simply made of small slice of banana, which covered by sagu flour dough, combining with brown sugar and wrapped up in banana leaves. 
then traditionally baked with charcoal to make it more fragrant and tasteful. They also combined the banana filling with chocolate, cheese, and jackfruit. But we assure you, all of them taste good. Besides the sweet peppers, they also sell the regular savory or spicy peppers, such as squid peppers, anchovy peppers, chicken peppers, and many more. The price is very reasonable, which is around 5,000 rupees per sweet peppers and 7,500 rupees to 15,000 rupees per savory or spicy peppers. It has been introduced since 1960, but only from 1984, they decided to stay in a fixed place, which is in Surya Kanchana Street No. 325. Open from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Last but not least from Surya Kanchana is Lumpia Basa. Lumpia is known as a deep-fried vegetable roll. But this one is uniquely cooked with charcoal. It's not an easy job since they have to keep the charcoal on fire, while on the other hand, they have to stir-fry all the ingredients. They have garlic and shallots. And for the fillings, they have dried shrimp, egg, bean sprout, chikama, and tofu. With only 15,000 rupees, this lumpia can be enjoyed by two persons since the size is quite big. You can find this legendary snack that has been introduced since 1972 in Surya Kanchana Street No. 89. Open from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. How can it's not a combo happiness to visit Surya Kanjana in Bogor? Nice weather, many delicious and legendary food options, with a very reasonable price. Even one whole day won't be enough for you to explore this area. But don't forget to notice the odd even traffic restriction during this pandemic. Otherwise, the policemen will ask you to go back and return to Jakarta. However, Enjoy your visit! <laughs>